Silver utensils and ornaments have been discovered in the ancient tombs of Egypt, China, Mesopotamia, Persia, Greece, and more. While highly valued as a decorative status symbol that can double as a store of value, silver's greatest legacy may be its long history as money throughout the ages, and no example stands out more prominently, or tragically, than Rome's silver denarius. The denarius began to see use in the Roman Republic around 211 BC, and stood as its currency for four full centuries before collapsing due to debasement at the hands of a greedy and over-leveraged government. Silver was the metal of choice when it came to currency, though gold coinage also saw some brief use in the empire. Although the quantity of silver in the denarius stayed above 90% for a large portion of this time, including a decree set forth by Caesar Augustus in 15 BC that all coins should be in the 95-98% to 98 range, the cost of running an empire eventually caught up with the Romans. Border defense, walls, administration costs, waging war, infrastructure like roads and aqueducts, and that didn't even count the entertainment and food, famously dubbed bread and circuses, used to distract the populace from government corruption and the fact that those denariuses in their satchels weren't quite buying what they used to. The quality of Rome's currency dropped from the aforementioned 95-98% to 98 silver content in the time of Caesar Augustus down to 74-89% to 89 in the era of prominent Stoic philosopher and emperor Marcus Aurelius. By the time the mid-3rd century rolled around, the silver contained in the denarius plummeted to as low as 3%, with 45% being the absolute best quality coins available. There was a direct connection between the size of the Roman Empire and the quantity of silver in its coinage, and in 285 AD, Rome had become so vast and unwieldy that it would be split in two by Emperor Diocletian. The empire's rise was truly impressive, and its fall was no less spectacular. A weakened Rome, laid morally and literally bankrupt by rampant corruption and the government's coin minters, was overrun in 476 by Germanic barbarian tribes, including the Huns, Goths, and Vandals. Commodity Culture is a series on commodities and natural resources. If you would like to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're always up to date with the latest episodes.